Alright guys, so this is going to be a quick video to show you how to set up your PS3 onto your computer screen. Oh, and keep this in mind before you watch this whole video that each computer is different. Each monitor is different depending on what you buy. This is my monitor speaker. So it's very simple. You plug in this audio cord to the computer for computer sound and you will see how my PS3 sound comes in later. Now keep in mind this setup can only be used if your monitor has a HDMI uh, stupid shadow. An HDMI cord for port right there. I don't know if you can see it. It should be somewhere around there. Because all you need to hook it up with is the these cords right here, which is the HDMI cords. Um, you can get them Radio Shack anywhere. Best bet would be to order them online, but if you can't wait, check by Radio Shack. Some pretty decent guys down there. So that would be my only suggestion. Oh, plus you have to have a PS3. Now keep in mind, all you have to do is plug in one of the HDMI ports into the back of the PS3. And then you plug the other one it doesn't matter which end, this end, to the back of this where it says the HDMI port. Now here's the other end hooked up into the monitor. I think what confuses people the most is going from your SD display to your brand new 1080 display on your monitor. So first you have to have your three DVI cords connected to your PS3 and to your SD TV. Then you have your HDMI cord plugged into your monitor. As long as your monitor supports the HDMI and has the port and everything. So you want to go to display settings, uh, video output settings, HDMI, automatic, and then that should bring you to this screen right here. And if you did it right, it should automatically go to your screen. Go ahead and press yes if it comes up on the monitor. Which is, I mean, I would show it for you, but my SD TV is all the way on the other side of the room, not connected to anything, and that would be a big old disaster trying to rehook it up and everything. So, but if you have any questions, just let me know, and I should be able to help you. Now for the sound, what I do for my personal preference, you see this? Excuse me, this cord, the middle cord between the HD cord and the uh, this one right here uh, 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 right there that hooks up that's your sound that should hook up if you have a CD player stereo player or what have you like I use this right here um, it's small but the speaker quality is really nice and it sounds it gives a pretty nice round sound it has the left and right speakers and I just plug it up the auxiliary into this thing right here but if you don't have that option of plugging it in, there's this green cord that should come standard on your computer for the sound. And you plug that in to where the sound is. Right in between the HDMI port and that other black cord. I can't remember right now. I think that's the speakers to my monitor, my computer monitor. Anyway, you plug that in right here. So whatever your audio in is for your computer to monitor. Now the thing is about having or not having a CD player, or stereo player, what have you hooked up as your sound for your PS3 then it will not you can you'll have to unplug this cord which is your audio every time into your monitor to get sound from your PS3 or else you just won't have any kind of sound. But see, with my option, I can have music playing, which I don't normally have. Playing. Playing. Okay, playing. Okay, playing. As well as your PS3 sound. Right speaker, blah blah blah. Okay, turn that down and see from 
the Dell XPS 420, you have the option. It's just like a TV. It's like an input button. Press it. One is for the let's see for the computer. And the third right here is for the HDMI. Notice how I've earlier my you know how my sound didn't play? That was because you have to X out the browser that you were in and just open a new one. I thought you used to have to completely shut down your computer and restart it, but all you have to do is restart the browser, so it's not that big of a deal. Now remember, every computer monitor and computer and is different, so before you purchase, realize what you're purchasing. If you've already purchased it, know what your computer monitor can handle if it has the HDMI compatibility, which is the which mine, the Dell XPS 420, has the plugin, the HDMI plugin, so I don't need the DVI male to female components like I thought I did. So, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I had a lot of questions, I just had to do it myself, so that's why I'm making this video. If you have any questions about your sound, let me know and I'll try to help you. Just let me know what you're working with. So, I hope this helps a little bit. Hi, Wobber Ducky, you're the one. You make bad time on the fun. That was a little unnecessary. But, let me know if you need any help with anything. Let me know your setup and I'll help you the best way I can. Keep it.